everybody, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights, and welcome to my channel. Today I have a small haul of testers that I picked up recently. I did a video a few videos ago, or maybe it was the last video, where I went to an outlet mall and they had a perfumery there. Unfortunately, they were closing down, so they had a lot of their testers on for sale. These ones, mostly cheapy fragrances, but I was very, very happy that I had the opportunity to pick some out. They were extremely cheap. <laughs> the cheapest one here is one euro. So yeah, glad to pick these up. Um, they're all blind buys, um, except for one of them. But let's just jump right into this. I'll show you what I picked up. So the most expensive tester here that I picked up is it's from the House of Guests. Uh, the bottle is pretty beat up here. It's a partial bottle. Um, look, <laughs> you can see it's gone through better days. But I just wanted to try the perfume. It doesn't have a cap. It was five euros. Um, this one was 75 mils, 2.5 fluid ounces. So I'm not sure how much is left in here. I don't know. It's hard to tell because I don't know how deep this goes, but maybe 40% uh, <laughs> yeah it's hard to estimate sometimes how much uh, is in here but you can see that the juice here is a nice light purple uh, I haven't tried this this has come off no it's a bit loose there but it doesn't actually come off so I heard about this scent a long time ago probably when I first started the journey I remember some videos that people really liked this one. So I was just curious and for the five euros, I was just like, okay, let's give it a try. So I do own one other Guess perfume. I picked it up at the thrift store some years ago. It was the Guess Original. Phenomenal scent, you guys. <laughs> so I'm hoping this is a good one. I haven't tried any of their other perfumes, um, but I think this is one from maybe I'm gonna guess like the early 2000s. Could be wrong, but I'm just guessing. So now let's give this one a try. Guess gold. Hmm. Sugary, sweet, fruity, flowers. It, it has a nice sugary feel and I'm actually picturing sugary violets and maybe I'm getting influenced because of the color of the juice here <laughs> but the first thing that I smell is like this sugary texture it is quite sweet candy like I can't detect any witch flowers specifically it's more like a mixed floral bouquet but yeah it's it's a nice scent it's reminding me a little bit of Euphoria, but uh, the Euphoria by Calvin Klein, that one has like this dark berry kind of feel. This one is making me think of, I don't know, <laughs> a different fruit, but I don't know which, maybe a mixed, mixed fruits as well. But for me, it's giving me the same woodsy, sweet fruitiness. And it's nice. I would wear this. It smells like an everyday scent, inoffensive, quite simple, but very nice, sugary, fun, girly, in my opinion, and pleasant. So that's a guess gold. Um, I have my computer here. I'll just uh, check what the notes are. If you could just bear with me for a moment, if I can find it. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna pause it so you don't have to wait. All right, I found it here. This is released in 2007. The top notes are pineapple, apple, and lemon. And pineapple apparently is the main note in here. And then of course, when you smell it, you smell the notes, right? <laughs> to me, it was a mixed fruit kind of thing, very fresh. Middle notes are jasmine, hyacinth, water lily, and rose. And base notes are amber, sandalwood, and vetiver. All right, yeah, that's, let's see the accords here. Fruity, woody, floral, amber, fresh, green, sweet. 
Mm, okay, so <laughs> knowing that the main note is pineapple in here, now it's starting to become, in my brain, more pineapple-y. But a nice sugary sweetness in here. And of course, when pineapple is very ripe, it is very sugary. <sighs> I like it. <laughs> I do like this. I will actually wear this. I think I'll wear this 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 coming season. Um, yeah, good, good deal for the five euros. I'm very happy about that. Now let's move on to the second most expensive from here. Actually, I picked up an, uh, a perfume that wasn't a tester. I'll just leave that to the very end. So the next most expensive, well, I have two here that were two euros each. The first one here is from the house of La Rive. And uh, La Rive is a, is a company that I see often at my chemists. I know that they do uh, some clone or dupe fragrances that, you know, perfume similar to other popular perfumes. And this one is called Chat, C-H-A-T-T-E, Chate, Chat, <laughs> Chat Paris. And it's an eau de parfum. You can see there it costed two euros. And if you look at this bottle design, well, it doesn't have the cap, but it does look very familiar. It kind of reminds me of the Chanel number no. five bottle. And I believe this is actually a dupe of it. Someone mentioned this, I remember hearing a long time ago, um, but I haven't tried it. So let's give it a try. Chat Paris La Rive Eau de Parfum. This one was 90 milliliters, three fluid ounces. And again, two euros, <laughs> not full, but I'll guess that's, I don't know, if it's 90, maybe 60, 60 mils for two euros. Okay. So Chanel number no. five, dupe, I think. Mm. Like for sure. <laughs> right away, I get this uh, sparkling aldehydic note that is sharp, very sharp. <laughs> uh, definitely has those Chanel number no. five vibes. It has some sweetness to it. So there's a little bit of this slightly metallic kind of scent in here. And sometimes to me, aldehydes come off that way. Um, sparkling, bright, recognizable. I would love to, you know, try this side by side with Chanel number no. five. I'm not sure if it's the EDP or the EDT that it's trying to imitate. I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess the Eau de Toilette because this one doesn't feel as heavy as the original number no. five EDP. But yeah, this is definitely very similar from what I remember the Chanel number no. five to smell like. Yeah, <laughs> sparkling, bright, sweet, floral, fruity, and yeah, it's actually, it's actually quite nice. <laughs> For two euros, if you're into something like Chanel number no. five-ish, yeah, this, I don't know what the regular price is. It's probably like 10 euros. But yeah, this is worth a try if you see a test around of it or you can blind buy it. But yeah, it's, uh, it's nice. <laughs> um, I'm not a huge, huge fan of the Chanel number no. five original. Uh, the Eau de Toilette, I go back and forth with, but yeah, this is quite a nice, quite a nice perfume. Now, let's see if this one is on Fragrantica. Check the notes. Oh yeah, it is. So I'll just read out the notes quickly. Okay, so this one was released in 2018. Top note is Aldehydes. Mid notes are ylang ylang and jasmine, and base notes are musk and vetiver. Now let me see what this perfume reminds people of. And yes, okay, so uh, yeah, it's Chanel number no. five, Eau de Toilette. Other people say it smells like the Eau Premier version in second place. And in third place, it's Chanel number no. five, Parfum. 
So yeah, this one I'm very happy with as well. <laughs> Really nice, really nice if you like that profile. I do like the Eau Premiere version, and because of how light this is, it's also reminding me of the Eau Premiere version and the Eau de Toilette, so yeah, I'm happy about this one as well, yay! <laughs> two for two so far. Now, the third tester here that I picked up, this one was also two euros. I think this is an older perfume. And um, this one is Chloe Eau de Toilette. You can see there, two euros. Just a little bit left. I picked this up because, well, of course it's cheap, uh, but I haven't tried this before and I really liked the color of the juice here. When I see those dark ambery colors, it, it makes me think that they smell better. <laughs> and this one was a 90 mils. And I'm gonna guess that there's 20 mils left in there, something like that. So yeah, another one I haven't tried, as I said, and I'm curious about this one, Chloe or Chloe. Okay. Oh man, <laughs> that is super, super strong. I'll say that. It's I don't need to even put it close at all. I can just smell it from here. Deep, dark, ambery. It has um, vintage vibes for sure. Uh, it smells like a, a mature, old school type of scent, which I love. I love vintagey scents. And this definitely has this dark, almost boozy, rich, full, amber type of thing going on. Mmm, <laughs> a little bit of powderiness that I'm picking up here too. And I like it. <laughs> it has like the name there, Chloe. Hmm, so I'm picturing like a woman who is in charge, responsible, successful, wearing this type of scent. It's very bold, very intense. And uh, yeah, it's it's very, very nice. <laughs> Chloe Eau de Toilette. Now let's see here what is in it. Okay. I don't think I own any Chloe perfumes. This is gonna be my first. Okay, uh, I'll go look for the notes just a sec again. All right, so this one is was released in 1975. So it is uh, an older fragrance. There are a ton of notes here. The main notes are aldehydes and peach, but there's also a lot of florals in here. Honeysuckle, hyacinth, lilac, ylang-ylang, orange blossom, coconut, and bergamot in the top notes. Mid notes, tuberose, narcissus, uh, carnation, jasmine, rose, and orris root. And then finally, the base notes are oak moss, amber, sandalwood, benzoin, musk, and cedar. It's like what's not in here, like everything is in here. <laughs> Big, bold, florals, aldehydes, amber. <sighs> wow, okay, yeah, powerhouse, vintagey type of thing. Very, very nice, uh, won't be for everybody, but if you're in that mood to be like a boss lady type of thing, <laughs> then maybe you can give this one a try. Chloe Eau de Toilette. So I have one more tester here that I wanna show you guys. This one um, was the cheapest one out of all of them. It was only one euro, but it's almost empty. There's a little bit left in there. This is Cool Water by Davidoff or Davidoff woman and it's an eau de toilette and this one was a hundred mil bottle so let's say maybe 10 mils left there or no there's a thing here it goes up in the middle which is kind of strange <laughs> i don't know how much is in here i but i'm curious because i've never tried the scent before i have tried the men's version of davidoff cool water love it like the the new version of it doesn't last very long but i remember when I was in school, high school, junior high, I remember smelling cool water and it was like so, so strong. It's very recognizable and I actually really liked it. So 
Let's try the women's version of this. Oh, very nice spray. Hmm. Okay, so aquatic, and I'm starting to think that this one went off because it's smelling kind of funky. <laughs> yeah, it, it kind of smells uh, sour, so unfortunately, I think this one isn't gonna work. It smells like a sour aquatic scent. And it's kind of, yeah. It's not pleasant. <laughs> so if you've tried the woman uh, version of Cool Water, please comment below on what it smells like because I'm doubting it smells like this where it's extremely sour. It smells like it's been sitting in the sun for years and years. And you get a watery saltiness <laughs> from this. I'm still curious about uh, what the notes are anyways. So I will look for the notes. I found the notes. Uh, there are a ton of notes in this one. Uh, some of the top notes, melon, lotus, lemon, pineapple, quince, blackcurrant, sounds lovely. Um, some of the mid notes, lotus, water lily, lily of the valley, honey, uh, some base notes, musk vetiver vanilla sandalwood yeah this uh this is definitely off <laughs> yeah no <laughs> i'll stop smelling that um yeah so uh, this one was a fail but it was a euro and um it's okay for the gamble but yeah i guess i'll have to uh go to a store and test it with another tester i'll just throw this one out okay so i have one more uh perfume that I picked up. This one was not a tester, but it was on, on sale. I'm not even really sure why I picked this one up. Um, it was cheap and uh, I don't know, I just felt like I wanted to support the, <laughs> the closing down sale at the, the store. So here's Guerlain Black Perfecto La Petite Robe Noire. This is a flanker of the La Petite Robe Noire Black Perfecto, which I own, which when I first tried it, um, actually with this one too, when I first tried it, I was kind of like, mm, it's all right. Um, but trying it in the store and also with the Black Perfecto, the original one, it grew on me. And this one is also one of those kind of perfumes where it grew on me too. So this one's 30 mils. It's $24.95. I'm thinking it might be discontinued. I see it on discount web shops here and there, but I'm not sure if it's actually discontinued. Um, it's an Eau de Toilette Floral. I'll just read out quickly what it says here, at least what I can from, uh, no, that's not what's not covered here. I'm incredibly sexy and more rock than ever, dressed in all, all leather style. I bring out every side of rose. Let my decidedly black style stir your senses. In La Petite Robe Noire's perfume wardrobe, I'm black, perfecto. So yeah, let's get this open. I think that this one would also make for a cute background for here because I can put it, I can pair it with the original Black Perfecto. And I really do like the bottle designs of, of this uh, collection, the Le Petit Robe Noir collection. Okay. So here is the bottle. It is just so, so adorable. It gives me like bad girl, biker chick kind of vibes. Whereas with the original La Petite Robe Noire, it's very like sweet and delicate and very, I don't know, innocent maybe. This one is like the bad girl of the family. <laughs> and this one, I don't remember what the notes are. Um, I know with the original, it's like a cherry leathery, rose vanilla type of thing and i think this might be similar in notes but let's just spray it on here so la petite robe noir black perfecto eau de toilette floral it's a very long name yeah it's 
it's nice. <laughs> it's giving me original black perfect perfecto vibes. <sighs> nice sweetness, like a sour cherry type of thing. Sweet and sour cherry. Dark feeling. It's making me think a little bit of Coco Noir by Chanel, but without the patchouli. There's a nice rose in here as well, I think. It's, it's nice. Um, I like it. And I think the bottle is just so, so adorable. Now, this is... Oh, well, sorry. I'm going to check the notes for this one. Okay. So this one was released in 2018. Top notes are rose water. Mid notes are rose, red rose, and almond. And the base notes are leather, black tea, and musk. So there's a lot of rose in here. Rose apparently is the number one note. You can see here that there's also a rose. There's no cherry notes in here, but there is a nice sweetness that I, I smell cherry in here for sure. Leather, black tea, it's, it's gorgeous, you guys. Really, really nice. I like it. <laughs> As I said before, this is one, and with the other Black Perfecto, it's one that really had to grow on me over time. But yeah, I didn't really need it because it's quite similar to the original, but I think it's nice, and I think it's nice for display back here. And I gladly wear it in fall, winter. <sighs> really, really, really nice. So I'm very, very happy with this purchase. And yeah. That was my haul of my cheapy testers and the Guerlain La Petite Robe Noir Black Perfecto Flanker. Um, if you've tried any of these scents, I would love to hear your opinions on them. Uh, and that's it for me for today. Thank you so much for watching this very long video. And I'll see you guys soon in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.